Welcome to the latest headlines from the Times and Star and Whitehaven News. Cockermouth traders fear that parking in the marketplace will force some people out of business. John Carlin, who owns the Allerdale Court Hotel, has written to Cumbria Highways and carried out a survey of traders. Many said they were not happy with the area's parking arrangements. He said most businesses were not using a loading bay outside his hotel and it should become a pay and display bay for shoppers and visitors. Some traders like Joan Hardy, who owns the Bitterbeck Pottery, said people were put off from coming to the town because there was nowhere to park. The fruit market was forced to close down last month and owners blamed the parking restriction in the area. The County Council will consider Mr Carlin's survey in July. Workington MP Tony Cunningham has promised to reveal his expenses within the next seven days as politicians across the country come under the spotlight for excessive claims. Mr Cunningham said some of his colleagues' expense claims were damaging to Parliament but he was prepared to publish all of his expense receipts because his claims were legitimate. He said he had not bought luxury items and was quite happy for the people to scrutinise his receipts. Copeland MP Jamie Reid also condemned the claims. He said he had nothing to hide as private parliamentary secretary to Labour's deputy leader Harriet Harman. He was working to make sure a payback system was put in place for MPs to repay money they should not have gained. Copeland Mayor Keith Hitchin found out that girls just want to have fun when he and his wife Frieda visited the Ladies of Lakeland in Netherton. The group, which is part of the Red Hat Society, invited the mayor to join them at a meeting at the White Mayor in Beckhamet. It was one of his last engagements as mayor, as he is due to hand over his chain to Henry Wormstrup today. The group's 24 members live at the Lakeland View Park home, and their mission is to enjoy life, they said. The first phase of the £9 million revamp of Victoria Crescent in Maryport has been completed. People have begun to move into the 18 new properties, which replaced the area's old flat-top homes. Controversy surrounded the beginning of the redevelopment because some residents objected to their homes being knocked down. But now the first phase has been built, the majority are delighted. The 18 new homes include two for sale at £120,000 each and two available for a shared ownership scheme. Work on Phase 2 has begun and is due to be completed next April when work on Phase 3 will start. Workington's new Netto store will open next month. It will bring between 10 and 12 jobs to the area and the company has invested £2 million into the branch on Moss Bay Road. The store will be officially opened on June the 25th with entertainment, music and refreshments and shoppers will get the chance to win vouchers Local people will get a sneak preview of it on the night before. Work started on the former vacant site of Roper's Scrapyard last September. Log on to the Times and Star and Whitehaven News online for the latest news, views, videos and sport.